Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, uh, I have to apologize right off the top that I haven't been doing videos for the last couple of weeks. It's been really, really hectic and chaotic, but all in a good way. Uh, so I haven't had much time to model lately. In fact, many of you might or might not know, uh, we've started an online, uh, Andy's Hobby Headquarters online. Dot com that we're doing some limited amount of mail order not everything in the store but quite a bit of it so we've been working on putting that on there as well as filling orders and we've also received some huge model collections some vintage stuff which at the very end of the video I'll take you through a quick little run through of the store uh, I, I know I've done those in the past but there's been so much new product come out plus all these vintage kits you might want to take a look at it's a lot of stuff from the 60s and 70s but what I thought I'd do today is uh, I've got some new products Product coming in from some new companies in fact there is a new Abrams tank and I, I have to apologize I don't know how to pronounce the company I believe it's V-I-O-I-I-I -I -I. Uh, it's a brand new Abrams in 35th scale we should be receiving that any day now and I'll be building that kit up actually I finally have some room in the front of my store so much of that collection just ate up the entire area where we film I just didn't have room to film at all plus also we have the Ryefield model uh, Easy 8 Sherman coming in which I plan on building that one as well and that one has already been shipped to us so there will be some model build videos coming soon very very soon but for today we're just gonna show you this new beautiful 24 scale Airfix uh, Hellcat that a lot of people have been clamoring about plus we've got this this a new unusual kit in from Academy this is something new they're gonna start to do they told me that they're gonna do some of this vintage anime stuff and this is based on a, a 70s anime series uh, gotcha man I believe it was called and this is the uh, the new God Phoenix and when it comes out in the United States it will have English markings up on top here they tell me and also to me has got a new car kit that's coming out uh, very similar to the other AMG plus a couple of books from Mr. Black publication so uh, crazy crazy time right now but I wanted to get back on YouTube and at least show you this this brand new kit right here as well all these kits I should say and then like I said at the very end give you a quick little tour of the store so Let's get started. Okay, the very first model we're going to take a look at is a uh, a new kit from Academy Models and it's from a 70s anime series called Gotcha Man. And it's, it's the new God Phoenix, and it's kind of a bird-like airplane, as you can see right here. All of this, will, I've been told by the manufacturer, will be written in English once it arrives in the United States. So it'll say, Gotcha Man and New God Phoenix, things like that on it. And when we open it up, and we're going to show you inside here, it's very, very similar to the way Bandai does their Gundam kits. So each one of the sprues will be molded in uh, different colors. So you, you can paint it if you want. If you don't want to, it's ready to go just like this. Now, I was reading the instructions, and the kits call out that they are snapped together. But it says right in the instructions, and this is something I always highly recommend too when it's a snap together kit, you still use glue on it. Because if you do use glue on it, you know it's going to hold up a lot longer. So we've got part of the wing section right here as you can see. And then this also comes with a base. A base right here that there is going to be a lighting uh, kit available very, very soon for it. As well as possibly a sound kit as well. So this right here will be the red button that you saw here it'll go inside uh, this little platform that'll hold the actual airplane up to be able to push it turn on the lights things like that so the instructions call out for the led kit uh, i haven't actually received one we're still waiting for them to produce one this is still a very early sample copy and then we've got part of the body and as you can see once again multiple different colors all ready to go and all the push pin or the the snap pins area right here there are lots and lots of parts in this kit. Uh, all the engine detail, things like that. Got the nose cone over here in this very, very, very sharp piece of plastic. And then of course, all of the wheels, which there are, I think there's like about 24 wheels on this, uh, this vehicle. And then down the line, we'll just show you quickly. At the very end of me talking here, I'll show you the individual sprues. But we've got some of the different sections, some of the other pieces. This is kind of interesting right here. This is a, and a piece that you can put on here and this is supposed to represent it going through the atmosphere so it's like burning up and heating up really good and I guess with the LEDs in there lighting up it'll be a nice nice effect on it 
And finally, the last little sprue here, or big sprue I should say, is blue. So you can see the, the red, white, and blue colors that are available for this. If we do build this up, we probably will go ahead and paint it since it's dyed plastic looks okay but it doesn't look never as good or as a uh, as a paint job on it and also they come with stickers and decals so if you've got some of the younger uh, builders you can use the uh, the decal the stickers and the uh, if you're doing it if you know more nostalgia white they have some cartograph decals inside here as well so, like I said, this is due probably in about a month or two, from what I understand. No actual confirmed date. And the reason I'm actually showing this one, too, is I've actually had a lot, a lot of people ask me about this. I have never actually heard of this series myself, but a lot of people have approached me and said, have you heard about this new Gotcha Man God Phoenix? And I have to say no up until I actually received the kit. Okay, you guys might remember this model build kit from eh, not too, too long ago. This is the uh, Tamiya 124 scale AMG Mercedes race car that they came out with and we built up and did a video on YouTube about. And the reason I'm showing you this one is because Tamiya has come out with a, uh, a new version of it. And this version was basically to advertise the AMG logo and it didn't really have a specific sponsor, just, just to show off the car and the, the logo. For the new one, this is a one that actually uh, the 2018 series champion for GT300. This is a brand new one uh, decal set. Same model car kit exactly as you would see in the other kit. But uh, to me, it has partnered up with Cartograph. And they've done a complete set of decals for this beautiful looking automobile right here. They did change a few other little minor things. Like you have the yellow headlight lenses and some other minor little things. But... And what I'll do right now is I'll show you the decal set because that is the main difference between the two. And like I said earlier, made by Cartograph. And Cartograph decals are always the best. And I'm so glad all the companies are using them now. Uh, you never have a problem with Cartograph decals. So that's the set right there. Kind of turn it that way. Now we're going to take a look at a very, very highly anticipated kit. This is a, a brand new, 100% new tooling from Airfix, a 124 scale Grumman F6F-5 Hellcat. Big, big airplane, especially in 24 scale. And it's got lots of interior detail from the engine, cockpit, uh, the wings open, even the wings even fold on this particular plane. So if you want to put it in a smaller area, you have the ability to. So uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to tear into this. There is a lot of plastic in a very big box. So we're going to go take a look at all the different sprues right now. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, the sprues of this uh, a massive bird. The uh, the very first one we're going to take a look at is obviously the fuselage and the wings. The wings as they are, if you're going to do the unfolded type, because this uh, this kit gives you two different variations where you can fold the wings back or have the wings, of course, extended on it. And first thing we're going to take a look at. Hopefully, we can show you, and it does it justice. If you look down the side of the airplane right here, Airfix has done a great job, I think, is putting little dimples and ripples in the uh, the metal surface in here. Because as the, in the real airplane, as they, they go down the line and rivet all these pieces of metal, you'll see a lot of times deformities in the, in the metal because it's just not going to be a perfectly smooth piece. And I think they've done a really good job, especially you can see like little dimples here, little minor ones here and there. Plus also, They've done the same thing on the leading edge of the wing as you see the distressed metal right here and you'd see the little bumps especially where the uh, the uh, what do you call it, ribs of the of the wing would be underneath there so very very nice job they've done on this now these are massive sprues this sprue is over two feet long what i've done is on the rest of this actually one other sprue is still massive i didn't break in half the rest of them i've actually split in half so it'll be a little bit easier on camera to show you guys all the different stuff on it and this is this is how most of the sprues are going to come and I just literally just took this giant runner out of the middle 
but wanted to show you this piece as a whole because this is the other set of wings that if you decide to fold it you've got different uh, pieces of it I, although I think this same piece this bottom is going to work on either wings it's mainly going to be the top and then this folding section right in through here and same thing they can kind of almost gave it a little bit of a I don't want to call it a pillow effect but it almost reminds me of that so each one of these little riveted areas right here just has a lot of detail but i personally i don't think the rivets are overdone especially once we put a coat of paint on it and if you do primer it i think it's going to work out really well and of course all of the the wings whether you built the folded or not have the ability to open them up and show the machine gun uh, bays inside there with the machine gun bullets and the, the actual guns themselves now we're going to start showing you guys the uh, the pieces and you can see this is the runner where there had been two of them in here so we have some of the internal parts in here the uh, the machine gun uh, bullet machine guns themselves and then some of the ribs that you'd find on the inside in here so this is probably when you're going to do the uh, the folded folded section and there's actually two of those. Those were molded side by side, but you do get two of them on the inside of this kit. Right in through here, we have some of the cockpit details. So we have the floor and some of the backing and then some of the other uh, structural supports inside of it. And of course, at the very end of when I'm done talking right here, we're gonna show you all the individual sprues if you wanna take a little bit look at the, uh, the other parts on it there. Give you a shot of the other side here as well. And this this sprue right here, you can see we have lots of the some of the wing details. So the ailerons and the flaps on this. Not a heck of a lot to look at there, but really cool that they give these all a separate pieces. Here is the uh, the tail, and you can see that's all broken up into separate pieces. Piece of string on there too. And here we have the first sprue that makes up the cowl. And they give you all of the cowl pieces are separate. So when we're gonna show you in a few seconds here the beautiful engine uh, detail that they include in this kit, you'll be able to open it all up. Even here, right here, you see the rippling hopefully in the, uh, the even the cowl piece right here. Just It's minor, but it really, I think it's gonna add a nice effect to it once the uh, the entire airplane is built. Some more structural parts of the inside here. These are the uh, the structural parts that hold up the engine and attach it to the fuselage. Some of those parts. More internals. Show you things like I believe I'm assuming this is going to be like the radio here. So they've even put some of the uh, the wiring in between. And we get to this big sprue, and this is, only, like I said, only half of it. So we have all of our rockets. If you decide to put rockets or looking like a 500-pound and 1,000-pound bomb, they give you drop tanks and looks like some of the, uh, the harnesses or the, the wiring that will hook up all of that stuff as well. And then this portion right here, this is the part I think is very, very impressive. And this is the, uh, the engine detail. So you've got the, all of the, uh, the detail of all the different cylinders here. We've got all of these pipes. Hopefully you can see. How they've done all of the exhaust pipes there. That'll look nice. Some of the wiring. So the, it'd be kind of cool if they could actually just even make this, this piece on its own. If you could build up a, uh, you know, this beautiful engine and then put it on a stand. And this is the other side of that piece, and you can see that this prop is, God, is just, just huge. And then all of the other plumbing that goes to the engine, and some of the detail for the landing gear. Oh, and of course there's the spinner right on the front there. And finally the last sprue is some more of the detail parts we have the wheels here which hopefully you can see right here on the bottom they are already pre-weighted so just enough where the bulge isn't ridiculous on the side but it's enough to make it look like hey there's some actual weight to this airplane another piece of the cowl the inside of the wheels and some more parts of the landing gear here 
And the last thing I'm going to show you is this big set of decals right here. Which we'll zoom in. Well, let's not zoom in. Actually, the, the light reflection on is pretty bad on it. But you can see there are some really big ones. And I, unfortunately, I accidentally wrinkled this one right here when I was taking it out. But I wasn't going to use the British markings anyway. I'd be using the American ones if I built it up. So... Looks like a very, very nice kit, uh, lots and lots of parts, and from some of the reviews that I've actually seen from Airfix uh, overseas, they've shown a few of them built up, they, you know, some prototypes, and they look to be a beautiful kit. So, uh, very anxious. These are actually now available in the United States. They retail for $159, and of course, you know, most, most dealers will have them less than that, but definitely, based on the way this looks, I would definitely recommend this kit. And the last little thing I want to show you guys here are two new books from Mr. Black Publications. They, if you're not familiar with Mr. Black Publications, they make some excellent quality books on figure painting. And I wanted to just even show you in here, and there's a lot of step-by-step -step instructions, including how to paint individual figures, which I have been studying up on, just haven't had the time to do any of the work myself. So. And you can see how they go through all the different steps on painting up. They'll pick one particular figure and then do all of it all the way from top, from front to back. So it's very nice stuff in there. And in the air books, they're published in Greece, but you can find them in most parts of the world. In fact, if you go on MrBlackPublications.com, you can actually even order them direct from him. So it's everything from medieval to Roman, as you can see right here, to... Uh, to the modern, well, fairly modern day World War II. Just all kinds of stuff with lots of great, great ideas. And also, there was one other figure in here I was going to show you guys too that I thought was done really well. Is the, the Brad Pitt figure from uh, Fury. Boy, I couldn't think of the name of that movie, but uh, really nicely done. So this will give you an idea. Now, this one right here is the handbook, a uh, scale model handbook. This one's actually a, a much thicker book, and there's more detail showing some of the, you know, how to do some of the blood and guts, step-by-step -step instructions on that. So it's cool, uh, cool stuff inside there. And then uh, lots of techniques and then what types of paint to use and making figures from start from scratch. So definitely, if you're interested in model figure making, definitely go take a look at these books right here. I think you'd be very happy with them. Well, there you go, guys. There's a quick breakdown on these uh, these new kits. Uh, these two will be out fairly soon. This is arriving right now in the United States, so I'm sure it's arriving worldwide. Definitely a beautiful kit in there. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little review. Very, very soon, I'll be starting on those two new kits. I don't actually have them yet to show you that, but I, I've been told by the manufacturers they've been shipped. So the Ryefield uh, Easy 8 Sherman and then that new Abrams tank. So and I'll put a listing down below in the... Uh, the section you can kind of see some pictures of it from the manufacturer of the new company like i said i apologize don't know how to pronounce their name yet but we'll figure that out so i want to thank you guys as always for watching and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming okay guys i thought i'd just give you guys a quick little tour of the store when i talk about getting giant model collections this last car collection that we just got in which ate up the entire front of my store was over 400 kits and lots of cool stuff from Intex. And we've already sold over a hundred and something of the kits. So we finally got enough room that I can actually do a couple of videos very, very soon. So stacks and stacks of stuff right there. More stuff all piled everywhere. There was, I think there was like 25 different uh, Formula One cars from Tamiya that were just incredible to see in 12 scale. And we've been loading up the store with all kinds of new MIG products, ammo by MIG products. There, weathering oil brushers some of the books 
And there's some of the stack of the new Hellcats lining up, some of the new product coming out. And we received quite a few orders recently to really restock our store. So it's literally piled to the ceiling right now. All the Airfix, the Wingnut Wings, Tamiya, Academy, Ming, all kinds of stuff. And then, of course, in the back over here, we have the uh, Bandai stuff and the Star Wars stuff and Gundam and Star Trek. Model ships are all over and through here. And come around the corner. Tamiya Paint is finally back in stock in the United States. So for there was a good four or five months there that you couldn't get any Tamiya Paint. But it is almost all back into stock, including the spray cans. And then, of course, all of our model car collection over here as we come down the line. And unfortunately, Model Master Paint, ever since they got bought out, a lot of the colors are getting discontinued. So we might actually be getting rid of Model Master if the, if the rack is going to be that empty all the time. And Vallejo washes and pigments, Mission Model Paint, full line of that, more... Uh, more stuff from Vallejo. And that's just a quick little rundown on the store. So like I said, we got lots of inventory in stock. So I've been really uh, spending most of my time taking care of all the collections and things like that. Just getting it all built up in here. So I wanna thank you guys for watching.